right, I just wanted to show how accurate the reverse camera new lines are. You can see the lines. Now, as you can see, I always try to line up my back tires with the edge of my garage door. If I do, that leaves me enough room next to the Alpha uh, to be able to open the doors without my kids damaging the feet. Sorry, I'm going to keep it quiet because uh, can't see him. Uh, midget right here is sleeping. But if you notice, I have that lined up perfectly. Take a look out my side view mirror. And the car is lined up perfectly with the edge of my garage door. Whoever did the programming uh, did an excellent job. Yes, yes, I don't know. The car's dead. I'm going to plug you in. Um, the only thing is I think I would put a toggle option to allow either always on or uh, intermittent only when in reverse like this. Uh, my reasoning is uh, always on, at least it would be nice to see, it gives a sense of depth and percept of depth perception, like when I'm on the freeway and someone's riding the behind, right behind me, it gives me more of an idea how far away they are. And right now, those lines, uh, that constitutes about five feet, maybe six. So from the edge of the car, you can see to the garage door or about where the end of the lines are should be about five or six feet I'll, have to, I'll measure it better tomorrow but um, I was just impressed uh, that feature works extremely well and uh, is that I even tested the uh, the uh, turning radius uh, when I did some parallel parking today and even that was insanely spot on so for those of us without parking sensors, um, that is going to be a great help. Good night.